Well, that phone ran out of memory. I knew it was going to. But we were all standing out there sweating like lobsters in a damn boiling water. Which people in the heat are usually not very friendly, and yet, honestly, everybody was friendlier than hell. I mean, everybody was, and it wasn't fake either, it was actually genuine. Because I, my, and I've said this before in a video yesterday or the day before, whatever, I anticipated all kinds of crap, and I'm, I am so damn glad I was wrong. And usually, I, nine times out of ten, I'm right. I'm glad this time I was very wrong. And I apologize for being, that I was wrong. Because I had my reservations, honestly, about Betty, and I'll tell you what. my opinion, she's not, she's got a passion. She really does. Justin, I started talking to him, I even asked, I asked him what state he was from, and I'm not going to tell you where he said, but I guess one state off. He's a nice kid. He told me he eat some cake. I said, have you seen my stomach? And he made a comment about it. Look, it is. It's like, and I told him, I said, you're still a kid. I mean, what is he, late 20s, early 30s, something like that? He's a kid. Well, that's the way it is. So that was a meet and greet. Well, I call that just being managed and trying to, in a situation we were all in, trying to be nice and friendly and good manners. But you people that are spreading lies and all this crap, <laughs> you need to get a damn life. You honestly need a life. Because you're not too bright, that's for damn sure. You're dumber than three boxes of rocks. <laughs> I mean, if you think it was a meet and greet, well, watch Sherry's life. That's all I can tell you. Because I don't know if I can get that damn hour footage back. I sent Sarah a picture last night. But I said, I got this far. But I also know I got enough video on these other phones and on Sherry's lives. Everybody can see for themselves. There was no meet and greet, no celebrity crap, none of this BS. So if you think there was, you, like I said, you need to pass out some drugs or get off the damn things, one of the two. Because you obviously ain't got a brain in your heads. And I don't care who's the one who's spreading lies and all that crap, because you just, you're, almost, you're about as sick and twisted as the one that's still from that uh, tree down in Kingsport. You really are. And there's no reason for it. It's about time to pull your big boy panties up or big girl panties up and actually grow up. Because I think everybody on YouTube is supposed to be an adult. And I'll tell you what, am I glad I went the other night? Yeah, damn right I am. Not just for the simple fact I was able to be a video, whatever, a video thingy for Mark and Sherry. That was an honor. But because I, I, my wife and I have followed this case in day one. Granted, we've never faltered on them. We're both convinced Don and Candace are involved. We both try to play the devil's advocate. It just keeps everything keeps coming back. Those two morons. Now I'm gonna drop a bombshell. At first, and I apologize, my dear niece. At first, I 
Didn't like the way Sarah was handling the deal with Don. Because I'm a bull in the shine shop, and I know it. I, Me, I don't play game. I'm not that nice about it. But then I can remember, I remember something my grandfather st- said. You catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar. So I pulled my head out of my ass and finally figured it out. What's the, what their game plan was. Didn't take me long to figure it out. Just had to get my head out of my rear end. That's why I said all along, I think Mark and Sheriff have done more for this case than anybody else. See, me? Uh, I'll be honest, I got, I got more strength than I know what to do with. I just broke down in pieces. So I started telling the truth. That's how I am. Mark and Sheriff used, I, got, I think the word is tact. They used Grandpa Means own advice and they never even met the man because neither one of them were born when he was when he died you catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar so I'm glad they did what they did because I can't help but wonder with Sheriff reporting everything to uh, TBI if that, I'm convinced that actually helped somewhat so Sheriff I do apologize I had to pull my head out of my butt. That's just because I'm the way I was brought up. But people, you don't take from a missing six-year-old little kid. You don't take some from anybody's memorial. What are you? What would you do? Steal pennies off a dead person's eyes too? Probably. You probably would. Shows how scummy you are. You know, there's only one one thing that freaks me out. And then you'll laugh over this. Cockroaches, they freak me the hell out. They always have. I'll take a cockroach over this one of you scumbags and I'm starting this crap and doing this crap. But don't be spreading your lies and hate because you have no damn life. Get a life. Get off YouTube. Get up. Go out and socialize. Maybe you might find some. Oh, you probably find, find friends like you. Get off the dope. You might get somewhere in life. But. And in closing. Share, remember what I told you. Don't let Mark watch this. And I'll tell you again, if you don't like my relationship, my and my wife's relationship with Mark and Share, on sub. Hey, let me do it this way. If you don't like my relationship with Mark and Share, on sub. Because I really don't give a crap. My life does not revolve around YouTube or all that crap. I, sorry, I, I, you get pissed off, that's on you, I don't know if you know what to tell you. I enjoy this immensely. My wife watches TikToks. I can't do TikTok, it drives me nuts. But who I associate with in my own personal life? My my dad's 80 years old. My Technically, he's my stepdad, he's my daddy's. His name's on my birth certificate. My biological father's dead. Has been for 10 or 12 years. My mother died 20 years ago this month. Or 21 years ago this month. June 23rd. 2001, she passed away. So. Nobody. Nobody's telling me what, who I can and can't associate with. Are you married to me? No. Are you paying my bills? Nope. So, guess what? I'll tell you the same thing I tell my daughter. You ain't telling me what to do. 
That's a straight up fact. So if you don't like that part of that, then see ya. Bye. Because we all have people we don't. Because I guarantee you, the same people are delicate about that. I've got people they don't like that I wouldn't care for, but I'm not going to, I wouldn't stop talking or stop whatever because of it. That's just childish antics. No, I'm not even going to try to put these videos up till the night. I might, might do it Saturday, today, I don't know. But I got to go to work. All right, I'll catch you all on the flip-flop. Bye.